All right, in our last video, we went over how to post journal entries to the general ledger. And in this video, we're going to see how to create an unadjusted trial balance. So in order to do this, I'm going to need the general ledger we just completed. And I am going to need the unadjusted trial balance. All right, now in order to do this unadjusted trial balance, I am going to need to go through each of these different accounts. And what I'm going to essentially be doing is putting the new updated balances into this uh, little chart right here. You'll notice that each unadjusted trial balance or each trial balance in period is going to have three items at the top for their titles, the name of the company, the name of the trial balance we're working with, and the date that these balances were updated. So let's go ahead and go down the line in our different general ledger accounts and we shall see how we did. So you'll see cash had an ending balance of 12,300 debit. Accounts receivable had an ending balance of 8,000. Supplies had an ending balance of 1,000. Prepaid rent, ending balance of 1,500. Equipment had an ending balance of 4,000. Accumulated depreciation, this did not have any updated balances. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be putting a zero. Now the one thing I do want you to be cautious of is the side where we put the zero. So ask yourself what type of account is accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is a contra asset. So remember normal assets increase with the debit, Contra assets are the opposite. They will increase with a credit. So the normal balance in accumulated depreciation will always be a credit. If you see a debit balance in accumulated depreciation, something's up. All right, accounts payable, keep going. Accounts payable, 400 credit. Salaries and wages payable, we have the same thing as what we dealt with before. There is no balance there. Keep in mind, salaries and wages payable is a liability, so it increases with a credit, so the normal balance side will be credit. Notes payable, we have a 1,000 credit. Unearned fees, 2,000 credit. Uh, Jonathan Tinker Capital, 15,000 credit. Drawing account has a 1,000 debit. Fees earned, 10,000 credit. Salaries and wages expense, that's an expense account, which has a normal balance of debit. Supplies expense, normal balance of debit. Rent expense, normal balance of debit. Telephone expense has a 200 debit balance. Advertising expense, 400 debit balance. Depreciation expense, normal debit balance and miscellaneous expense normal debit balance now when you're looking at these keep in mind let's see if we can pull these up i just want this one um, if it is an asset account that balance should be on the debit side liability it should be on the credit side capital it should be on the credit income revenue should be on the credit and your expenses should be on the debit so wherever these plus signs are that's called the normal balance in the account so for example if i saw that i had a credit balance in cash when i did this step i did something wrong something's up so that's actually a really good way of kind of checking yourself to see if there are any errors and the last thing you should do is total up each side. And this is actually a good way to catch some errors as well. All right, 28,400 equals 28,400. Sorry, perfectionist. So these two sides equal. So it's not a perfect indication that you did everything correctly, but it is a good way of kind of checking your work. If these don't equal, something's wrong, you need to go back and find out. So remember, when you're doing your unadjusted trial balance, you're simply transferring the current balance after step two onto your unadjusted trial balance. Um, you're going to make sure that all of your balances are in the normal balance for that type of account, and debits should equal credits. If they don't, something went wrong. All right, so now that we're done with our unadjusted trial balance, let's move on to step four, every student's favorite, adjusting entries. I'll see you in the next video.